Now, our focus on the energy sector as we're reviewing 2020 continues tonight. Joining us now is energy consultant and managing partner, Zenera Consultants, Mecca Aluola. He is in Lekki, Lagos. Mecca, thank you for joining us on the News at 10. Thanks for having me. And I'm sure you were listening to the conversation I was having with Olu Phillips, my colleague, about how much investment has gone into the electricity uh, sector, electricity supply in Nigeria, why this is still a problem. And I see that we still have, we're still maintaining a huge monogrid system that's been canvassed as uh, with having high failure rates. It may not be good for a country like us. So why, why is Nigeria still maintaining this system, which clearly is not working? So, um, Amarachi, the, the issues are, are multifarious. And um, sometimes, you know, is political in nature uh, because, uh, unfortunately, you know, um, sometimes the courageous decisions that need to be taken um, by government um, many times are not very uh, popular, you know. So, um, you know, there's that dig down between how much laxity and flexibility should government give to um, private, you know, investors, you know, to bring about their know-how and fully liberalize, you know, uh, the value chain. Um, so you see governments be holding on to certain strategic aspects of, you know, the, the distribution chain, um, you know, in their wisdom regarding uh, what they think, you know, is best for, for the country in terms of, you know, supply security and stuff like that. So I, I think until, you know, we come to the point where, you know, we're ready and, and prepared, you know, to take the very top decisions, you know, that we need, you know, to um, open up the market entirely and get, you know, government out of the business of running any business enterprise in Nigeria. We'll still be running, you know, around in circles, whether it's power, you know, or oil and gas, okay? So you can see that in, in all the sectors of the, of the Nigerian economy, the only areas where you have, you know, large, a percentage of re redundancy, a large percentage of inefficiencies are those, you know, that are being run by government, you know. So there's, you know, for example, going back to your point, there's really no reason why even, you know, the transmission aspect of the value chain is not fully privatized, you know. So we'll continue, you know, in, in that mode, running a monogrid system until, you know, the government, you know, deems its feet, you know, to completely let go um, of, of running um, our sector, yeah. And speaking of oil and gas sector, it appears the main challenge mm -hmm. is a complete deregulation. It's even becoming more challenging with the NNPC still importing finished products from outside the country. Are we really serious about deregulation? Um, so sometimes, you know, the signals that we send, send are, are somewhat conflicting, you know, um, as to the seriousness of government, you know. Uh, I, I think to all intents and, and purposes, yeah, to a large extent, yes, we want to liberalize the, the you know, to deregulate, you know, the um, downstream, you know, sector of, of, of the oil and gas industry. And this has been something that we've clamored for since 2005 consistently. And, you know, there's, there's a movement in the right direction. So it's not all gloom, you know. Uh, we, we've seen at least some decisions that we're taking, you know, last year, you know, to deregulate, you know. Um, I call it a quasi deregulation because you still have some element of price control there. Um, if you fully deregulate, you won't have uniform pricing of, of form price at the form price across, you know, the country because you can't get the product, you know, at the same price of not as it is where the jetties are, you know. Uh, but like I said, you know, um, we're moving in the right direction gradually. Things are taking shape. Uh, we've taken the few, you know, very um, strong steps that we need to. Um, but government, you know, has no business bringing in products. Um, you know, we've seen um, the times that government has done it and the issues that we've had to go back again due to, you know, the construct of, of, of the government and the inefficiencies that exist, you know, uh, when government tries to do these things, you know. So, we're gonna, uh, you know, we're going to see back here again come back to the private sector, um, you know, in a couple of months from now, you know, um, it's just a ding dong and the yo-yo that um, we're used to in, in the industry now.
Mecca Oluwala, thank you for joining us tonight. You have uh, successfully analyzed, you know, two sectors, uh, two in one sectors, energy, uh, oil and gas. Uh, thank you for joining us on the news at 10 tonight. And hopefully the government is listening as we look forward to a better Nigeria. Thank you.